Hello. Hi, welcome everybody. Good morning. Um, I'm here from the town of Essex. It's called the Conservation and Trails Committee. What we do is try to take care of the trees and all the hiking trails that we have around the town for everybody to enjoy. And we're just citizens, just like you. We just live in the town and try to help out with the um, town staff to make sure all that happens. We're here today to celebrate Arbor Day. The first thing I want you to do, I want everybody to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Now, imagine a world without trees. How would your house look? How would your yard look? Imagine fall in Vermont with no colors, no leaves, no nothing. What if there were no shade from the hot sun on a hot August day? Yeah. Now open your eyes and look around and look at all these trees. Aren't you glad we have trees here? Yeah. Arbor Day, that's what we're celebrating. It's a special day with people all over the world to celebrate trees. You can do a lot of things to celebrate Arbor Day. You can plant a tree. That's what we're doing here today. We're giving this tree a new home. And you can watch it grow as you grow. You can also take care of trees that are already here. Trees in your yard and trees at your school. How do you do that? Well, you be gentle with them. Make sure that they have space for their roots to grow. Make sure that they have water. And you can remove bugs or weeds that are hurting the tree. So remember, trees are our friends. We need to help them grow and thrive. This beautiful tree here was given to you and the school by a company called Horsford Gardens and Nursery. And they give trees to school, several of them every year, because they like to see trees growing in schools for the students. This tree doesn't look that big, but when it came to us, it had to have its roots and all the dirt that was around its roots. Now we can't lift this tree, we had to have special help. And that special help was given to us by Patrick and his team at Heritage Tree Care. And they came here and they dug this big hole and they set the tree in it for us. They also left some mulch there, you see there's mulch missing, and that's where you come in. You're gonna help get the mulch around the tree, and that'll help keep the water in, and keep Healthy. We had help organizing all this from a group of tree friends called Vermont Urban and Community Forestry. They helped coordinate all this. We also had help from your teachers and your principal who helped us figure out where the tree should go and uh, where its new home would be. So let's give a big hand to all the tree friends. Lauren, she's going to say a little bit about trees. So I have a little clip I want to read from Dr. Seuss. You probably don't know Dr. Seuss, right? Oh, you do? Okay. Oh, no way. Okay, well, this, this maybe you'll figure out what book this came from. Catch calls the onceler. He lets something fall. It's a truffle seed. It's the last one of all. You're in charge of the last of the truffle seeds. Plant a new truffle, treat it with care, give it clean water, and feed it fresh air. Grow a forest, protect it from axes that hack, then the Lorax and all of his friends may come. We just wanted to uh, let second graders know that this tree is being dedicated to all of you. So when you come back and visit EES, you can come visit this tree and watch it grow over the years as you will be growing. This tree, this is an oak. This is a fir oak. Fir oak, maybe in about 20, 30 years will produce a very large acorn and this acorn the squirrels the turkey the bear and the deer eat it and the Abenaki people would gather these acorns and they would make flour 
So when your kids come here, probably we'll be making acorns. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.